Arkady Kuhlman, when do you expect the ING Direct Capital One merger to be completed? Well, the original uh, deal was signed in June and it's gone through its normal process of due diligence and approvals and so on. We believe it'll probably be done uh, here at the end of uh, this year or very early next year. We've heard that some consumers are worried about such a big bank in this era of too big to fail or too many assets under one roof. Should they be worried? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I think, uh, look, uh, ING Direct is, uh, is, is all retail. It's all consumer driven. Uh, Capital One is a, is a consumer uh, financial uh, organization. And so um, we're really not large from a systemic point of view or the types of businesses we do. Uh, we do cards, we do auto loans, we do mortgages. It's all retail. And will you be able to cross sell each other's products? What kind of changes can people expect after the merger? Well, I think from a direct business, I think the plans are really to continue to build the direct business. I mean, most of Capital One's uh, card businesses are all direct. That's their that's their DNA, that's their genesis. Uh, we do very, very well in terms of direct banking, so I think those things complement each other. And there's some great products that uh, Capital One has that I think you know, it fit inside the direct uh, ING Direct model. And what about the mortgage loan offerings? Will they continue uh, as they were? Well, certainly direct mortgages have been a, a breakthrough for us. I mean, we've worked years to make sure that at least for a segment of the consumers, they really want to make that mortgage experience very easy. Uh, we're able to do that, and I think uh, that's certainly a product that's here to stay. And do you have an economic forecast for 2012? Where do you see the economy? Well, look, I think uh, th these days they're all described like it's, a, it's an upside-down, volatile trading economy. Um, I think we're going to continue to see uh, slow progress. I think we're in for another year of sorting things out, and I think that's because of the macroeconomic factors. Uh, I think jobs are still going to be a little bit... Uh, uh, depressed. We're certainly going to, we're seeing it now, still a lot of stuff on the foreclosure housing, housing market. And so that's going to take time to work its way through. So as much as we don't like this sort of muddling through kind of economy where you get fits and starts, I think the reality is we've got a wonderful opportunity for alignment. Look what's happening in 2012. Elections coming up. Consumers are becoming more financially responsible. Companies and towns and municipalities are all trying to get their budgets into line. Federally, we're trying to get our budgets in the line. So we've got real alignment for 2012 where everybody's got their head in the same direction, which is how do we balance things? How do we get things back to a normalized kind of level? Um, and I think we've got an opportunity for some real leadership in 2012. So I'm pretty reluctantly optimistic about 2012. How's that for a good one? Sounds good to me. Thanks. Great. Man. You're very welcome.